Don't believe the BS. Black people laying down with Donald Trump. A Florida conservative radio host says he and his team are responsible for the AI-generated images of Donald Trump posing with black voters. Uh, they've been posted on social media. The images were created by Mark Kay, one of a dozen discovered by BBC Panorama. These fake images of black Trump supporters generated by artificial intelligence are one of the emerging disinformation trends ahead of November's presidential election. Uh, it, you know, this goes to show you on the Congo, they, they cannot attract black people, and so they got to create fat, fake, fake black people. Uh, and if you look at one of the photos, uh, one of them has too many fingers in it. <laughs> wow, I, I, did, I did not peep the fingers. I did not peep the fingers. And, you know, this is really problematic. And it kind of goes off of what happened in New Hampshire, you know, with that fake uh, Biden robocall. And, you know, law enforcement, Justice Department, local officials, they really need to crack down on this. The one of the Joe Biden robocall was like a random magician who made it in like five minutes or so. You know, there needs to be penalties for this. You know, these individuals are coming forward basically saying like, yeah, I did this, but they're creating propaganda and they're lying. And I'll be honest, kind of going back to our last segment, I feel like there are too many folks out there who have some type of prominence, whether it's in the celebrity space or even influence in their local community who will use something like this and they'll say, hey, does Biden ever come to the hood? Does he ever come and, you know, sit down with us? You know, Trump's for the people and so on and so forth. And people will be susceptible to that. I've seen some of these interviews where people are talking favorably and lying about things that Trump has done, where there's HBCUs and the like. And this is just part of that as well. And of course, the lies about the COVID, you know, related checks and the things like that. And so we need to call these people out who are doing this once they're found out. So I'm glad that you're doing this here. There needs to be fines because this is another form of election interference. And, you know, three, we need to remind folks about what's actually being done in the black community and for black people by the Biden administration. Again, we can criticize people as they need to be like you do all of the time, Roland. But we also need to call out the good when it's actually done, because even if these pictures were real, Roland, the real question becomes after that, what's he actually doing for you in your hood? What did he actually do for you in your hood yep. when he was president? And that's a real conversation, a real evidence that can highlight what he has not done for our community. And let's be real clear, Trump did not send out uh, those PPP loans. Uh, Democrats in the House actually passed that and in the right. Senate, so he just slapped his name on it. Now, uh, remember uh, when Trump made these comments uh, at that conservative gathering? It was actually a black conservative event attended by mostly white people. Charles Barkley wasn't having none of it. Chad, and you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts. Oh, please. When you heard that, what did you think? <sighs> Big sigh. First Big of all, sigh. I'm just going to say this. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm going to punch him in the face. Charles. I know, Gil, 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 Gil. You, you really can't say that, because, A, you don't mean that. You, oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you something. And then you will be arrested for assault. And then what? I'm going to bail then myself what? out and go celebrate. <laughs> if I still Don't seriously. encourage him. Don't encourage him. Okay, but it, go ahead. Seriously. Continue. <laughs> First of all, if I was at that... At that conference, yeah. I'd have got up and walked out. That was an insult to all black people. Because mm -hmm. he's basically just saying, and first of all, black, to, to compare black history where we've been discriminated against to his plight. Yes. Well, first of all, he's a billionaire. Mm -hmm. And they're prosecuting him for stuff he did wrong. They're prosecuting <laughs> him for stuff he did wrong. And for him to it's compare... It's still in the court system, Charles. We have to wait. It's still in the court system. But continue, continue. Well, continue. They, some of the stuff is true. They did storm the Capitol. Well, well, yeah. They did say that the, the election was stolen. Those yeah. aren't lies, Gail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are they facts. They did say that. They okay. did say that. But to compare, I would have got up and walked out. Mm -hmm. Because it's not a fair comparison. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a billionaire. He's had a great life. He's been president of the United States. To insult black people who have been discriminated against all these years, to put them in the same category, I, I, I was just offended. I, yeah. I mean, okay, um, Julian, I, I, I like Gail, but did Gail forget who she was talking to? Anthony, go to my iPad. <laughs> well, she's like, Charles, you really don't mean it. Charles Barkley threw a dude through a glass window because he kept bugging him. Charles. <laughs> 
Charles Barkley is not joking. Let's be real clear. He threw a dude through a glass window and his quote, you see it. If you bother me, I'm going to whip your ass. <laughs> Julia, I, go ahead. I'm just laughing. Um, I'm with Charles. I don't want to see any of those folks with, um, you know, with those mug shots on their, on their chest. Not that I'm going to threaten to whip them because I'm a little old lady. I don't get to do that anymore. But uh, much. Anytime. But the bottom line here is that Trump has pandered to the lowest of stereotypes. Um, we like him because he was indicted. He said uh, Friday, I was indicted for y'all. That's what he said. I was indicted for you. Now, any black person in their right mind who supports that nonsense is not in their right mind. The, the, but he, he, he just, he panders to the lowest common denominator and he's really not talking to black people. He's talking to white people who think the same thing about black people. He's really talking to his base of MAGA conservatives, but he's using black folks as a smokescreen. But the fact is that we allow that. Now, all those people who are in those pictures are AI generated. They can prove that it's them. They ought to sue because their likenesses were misused. I know that AI is a whole area that I'm not going to touch because I don't fully understand it. But you know, we do know that you can manipulate images, you can manipulate voices, and they've done quite a bit of this. But back to the orange man. What, you know, I, I, I really need somebody, Roland, to break this down in terms of, we keep hearing these numbers, 18% of black men say they're going to vote for the orange man. I don't believe that data, and I have not seen that data. Well, well, well they I, say I, that actually, the latest New York Times Siena poll, uh, they actually say 20 plus percent of all black voters are going to vote for Trump. A lot of people have broken those polls down, uh, and they've gone through that. Uh, but uh, look, well, Terrence Woodbury broke. Terrence Woodbury broke down the 2000 uh, and uh, 20 election, where he said how Trump did with black men played a role in Tom Tillis who was a senator, who's a MAGA senator, uh, picking up about 16 to 18 uh, percent of uh, black male vote, and that played a role in him winning. So at the end of the day, it depends upon the state, uh, because again, uh, and so it's two things. It's, and also, if you have low turnout, obviously those who do, do turn out, they're voting for Trump, has a greater impact because low turnout actually amplifies them. Go ahead. But here, here's the bottom line, though. I mean, whatever the numbers are, a poll is a moment in time. A poll is not election day or the pre-election time, early voting, when people are looking at this. I'm hoping that my brothers, that African-American men, will look at what that man has done for them, which is zero, 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 and pander to the lowest common denominator. And I just don't see, it, it's very troubling to me that brothers, and I'm you know, I think I've talked about this before. My own sibling, male sibling, voted for Trump in 20. No, in 16, but he didn't in 20 because he said the man wasn't about anything. Well, it took you that long to figure that out when you have four sisters. But in any case, he claims that it's partly because of economic empowerment, partly because of his machismo, um, that that attract black men to him. I want brothers to prove him a liar. I want brothers to stand up for values he hasn't done anything for black people and won't. In fact, he'll continue to vilify, to lie, um, and thinks that inviting Kanye to his to Mar a Lago or putting out a new sneaker line is going to endear him to black people. It will not. I'm with Charles Barkley. Well, uh, look, at, at the end of the day, um, um, uh, Renita, look, there are, and I've seen, I've seen it, and I've seen the comments, whatever, there are black women out there who are talking about voting for Donald Trump. There are black men, okay? It's there. But, but the bottom line is, I think part of the problem, what I'm seeing with these national conversations, and this is where I blame every executive at MSNBC, at CNN, at ABC, at CBS, at Fox News, and all of these, all these networks, they are having poll-driven conversations and not policy conversations. They were having conversations about Biden's age and, oh, he made this mistake, but they were not talking about Trump slurring his words and stuff like that. To me, that's still all the superficial stuff. The question comes down to, 
What are your policies? What did Trump do? What did Biden do? What is Trump saying he's going to do? Trump is on record, national abortion ban. They're on record of having a Christian fundamentalist um, administration. And so mainstream media is stuck on polls and stuff like that and not actual policy and the impact on people. Well, and the one thing that you have to keep in mind with polls, as you said before, it is true. Some black people are going to vote for Trump. And I, as somebody who has had to campaign to voters, you will never hear me condescend to voters about how they should decide their vote and um, and, and tell them, you know, what they should or should not be doing, because I just don't. That's what helps us uh, as Democrats lose elections. Those who do vote for Democrats, progressives and everyone on the left, that's exactly how you lose elections. But I will say, as, as far as the polls are concerned, it, one thing that is probably not commonly known, unless you have worked um, as, as unless, you, unless you have been a candidate or unless you have worked on a campaign, a lot of people don't realize, but the polls really do not, um, they don't do the, a significant or a good job of polling the number of black people that they need to in order to extrapolate the results. And so for years, no matter what issue you talk about, no matter what issue you think about, whenever they show polling, um, it typically does not reflect what is the on the ground opinion for black folks. But that's and not always, the goal. That's not the goal. But that's not the, the goal. The, 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 okay, the goal, what, what I'm seeing right now, the problem that I'm seeing right now is that the conversation is completely about polls and not policy. And so I don't care what the poll is. What you now have is Cornell Belcher, who is a Democratic pollster, he's talked about this here. He said when all of the conversation is about polls, then it's drop that's constantly being bombarded in people's minds and so all they're talking about okay polling this polling that as opposed to what they are talking about that's why on this show you you rarely see me bring up any of these polls because i don't care what the polls say we're trying to give people information about policy and not a poll Right. But the other point I'll make, because I'm just trying to put in perspective for you what these polls really mean. Oh, no, no, I I know what they mean, but I'm just saying I got to go ahead. Hold on, let me finish. It's also connected to what we were talking about earlier about these AI images. What they are, what Trump is trying to do, and these polls kind of play into it, is make more black people feel like there is, you know, voting for Trump is not something that is so far um, out of the realm of anything legitimate. Voting for Trump is something that more black people are starting to get on trend with. That's what they're trying to make folks feel. And so like when you look at the AI pictures that Trump is doing, I think the difference between this and that is that when he previously was campaigning, he had blacks for Trump, those folks standing behind him. And when people started to investigate- They were frauds too. Right. I was going to say, right. Let me finish. You had the one guy when you looked into it, he was actually a I saw a documentary where he was uh, allegedly a part of a cult. I mean, he was a significant a part of a cult, probably the most prominent um, blacks for Trump person. So with these a- with these AI images, what they're trying to do is say, OK, if you don't see yourself reflected in the normal black for Trump folks that you see at rallies, look at these pictures of black people who look like you do, who look like your everyday neighbor or look like your who would probably be your friend. Look, they are accepting of Trump. And so I think between the polls and between the AI pictures, what they're trying to do is run a campaign that basically is saying it's not that extreme or it's not that weird black people to be into Trump. So that's why I think it's important to have that perspective for people to understand how polls are constructed and how they are derived. Well, and again, and and again, at the end of the day, uh, the whole point is to have conversations not about policy, uh, but about that, over the weekend, I was going back and forth with some of these crazy uh, MAGA folks, these anti-immigration black people, uh, and this dude, Mark Carter, out of, I think he got out of Chicago, I guess. Uh, he actually made this comment here. Go to my iPad. Uh, he is so anti-immigration. He said, all of America, including the KKK, should join forces to put a stop to you and all other immigrants from invading America. Mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. that's that's one of the black people out there uh, who uh, is dancing for Trump. Yep, wow. yep. Just understand, he literally is touting. Oh yeah, the KKK too. Um, enough saying, enough saying. 